hey guys welcome back to my channel this is a daisy and today i'll be showing you how to make a nigerian snack which is pop off and it's basically made up of like fried soft dough and you have some yeast, cinnamon powder, my flour, vanilla essence, um, sea salt, some sugar, and some warm water. So I'm going to put all the measurements in the description box below. So I will start off with my flour. And then my sugar. And then the cinnamon powder. And some yeast. The vanilla essence and some sea salt. You can put as much as you want, but I don't usually use a lot of salt, so that was enough for me. So I'll put in the warm water gradually while mixing it. I prefer to use my hand to mix it, but if you want, you can use a spoon to mix it, but I prefer using my hand. So you're going to keep mixing the, the dough with your hand. So the key to making like a very good puff puff is actually beating it because while you're beating it, you're working the dough. As you're working the dough, you're developing the gluten. That's what actually gives it this like chewy consistency that you're looking for. So you keep on mixing it, the dough till it's actually soft and stretchy and smooth. Like you don't want to be seeing any, um, what's the word now, any um, build up of flour in the mixture. So you just have to keep on going. So after mixing, I wrap it up with clean foam and I use a clean um, cloth and put it on top and put it in a warm place so it can fry. So after like an hour of letting it rise, you can see the bubbles, the yeast has been activated. So I'm going to do some more mixing right after to beat out the air. So while doing this, make sure to really start heating your oil. So you just start dropping it in. But well, make sure it's not too hot and make sure the oil is hot enough because if not, it's going to soak up oil and you're not looking for like a very greasy puff puff. And if it's too hot, it could actually burn. So you just have to find the right um, temperature for it. And you can see how it's bubbling up once it's being dropped in the hot oil. That's what you're looking for because if it doesn't do that, that means there's something wrong. And you can see how it's coming up right after being dropped in the hot mixture. And that's what you're looking for. Trust me, if it isn't doing that, that means there's something wrong with your dough. And you can see the shape is forming like a ball. And if you're not having that, then that's bad too. So 
so um basically just keep on frying it till it's golden brown and a trick to having to helping you turn the puff off because it's quite difficult is to actually press it down like i'm doing you press it down with a spoon and turn it it makes it easier for you as you can see So right before serving, I usually lightly dust it with um, powdered sugar and cinnamon just to give it like a little bit more flavor 